and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So very warm good morning to all of you. Students, so today I'm back not with a you know story or a poem, but rather today I'll be making you all revise grammar and learn some different techniques, types of sentences in nouns and all other aspects. So I hope today lesson won't be any further boring and you'll enjoy this lesson along with me. So without wasting any further time students, let's start today's topic with the bang. Yes. So basically types of nouns is going to be our main topic for today. So this is the topic that we'll be taking into coverage and focus. Yes. So uh, I have pasted over here. Uh, we can see a cheese. We can see a dog. We can see a school of fish abstract love in that she's feeling loved and then we can see Texas that is a city in USA now students uh, what can we see we can see cheese dog okay we can see Texas we can see that the girl is feeling loved the way she's embracing her heart and we can see uh, you know one two three four five that is a group of fishes but actually it's not a group of fish we call them a school of fish so these are the types of nouns. Now you must be thinking me, ma'am, why only these types of things are called as nouns? Why not other things? So I have got you all covered. Now, today we'll be discussing on the different types of nouns that are available to us. Now, types of noun, first is the abstract noun and the concrete noun. So I'll be starting first with abstract and concrete and there's a reason for this. The moment you understand what are abstract noun and what are com concrete noun, you'll be easily able to identify material noun, common, proper and collective noun. So let's start. Now, abstract. Now anything, if we say anything is abstract, that means it is not visible to us. We cannot see it, we cannot touch it, we can only feel it. We can only feel it. Now, can we touch wisdom? Mere me kitni intelligence bhari ko ye. Can we touch intelligence? Can we, can we, you know, physically kya musko haat se chhu sakte hai? This percent is this much in, uh, wisdom. Can we touch anger? No, we can only feel it. We cannot see it as well. We cannot see, oh kitna buddhi maana hai kya uske jahre pe dikhai deta hai? No. Wo kitna angry hai uske chahre pe dikhai deta hai? No. But we can only feel. So the emotions that we feel are known as abstract nouns. Which we cannot only, we can only feel. We cannot see. No. Seeing is not there. Not touching is there. Yes. So this is the uh, this is all about abstract noun. Now students, let's come and uh, discuss about concrete nouns. Okay. Yes. So what are concrete nouns? Now concrete nouns are those nouns that you can see, you can feel and you can touch with your own hands. Wisdom, anger and bravery were abstract noun. Why? Because we can only feel, we cannot see, we cannot touch. But is the opposite is concrete nouns where we can also see them, touch them and feel them. For example, baby. You can, you can pick up a baby, yes, you can see a tree with your own hands, definitely yes, you can see flowers, you can touch flowers, you can smell flowers, you can touch water, see water, drink water, you can play games on computer, yes, so these are types of nouns that are concrete in nature, ye hai, available hai, iska base hai, you can see it, you can touch it and you can feel it. Now, what about elephant? We can ride on an elephant. You can sit on its back and you can ride on an elephant. So, these are things we can touch, see and feel. So, opposite of abstract is concrete. Extract mein khali hum mehsoos kar sakte hain. Hum chhu nahi sakte, hum touch nahi kar sakte, hum dekh nahi sakte hain. But the opposite is concrete. Fine, students. Now, let's start with an another introduction. Now, where do you live? This is the favorite place. What are they eating? Okay, girls are enjoying on a beach. Ye sab kya hai? What is this? If we collect them together, like um, uh, we can see this is also a sea beach and this is also a sea beach. Uh, this is also a sea beach. So now these two things are sea beach. 
so we can uh, you know include them in places yes we can include them in places but now these things are eatable items ye to place mein nahi aata hai hot dog ho gaya pizza ho gaya burger ho gaya samosa ho gaya are these things coming under eatable items yes now where do you live now you must be living in punjab you must be living in maharashtra you must be living in south you must be living in delhi so this is again they are asking you for place so when they are speaking of specific faces now okay i belong to delhi now delhi is only one i have visited that beach that beach in that area is only one it has got no other beaches like that with that name or no other branches guess now what is noun now noun is the name of a place all those places jiska ek hi naam hai that will come under noun now noun will also include three more things students which are universal in nature only ek hai duniya mein unka koi substitute nahi hai and what are those things sun moon stars last and importantly earth so you must have observed whenever we write sun earth these start with capital letters kyu bahut sare to nahi hai pass me that box box is not a common noun uh, proper noun Why? बहुत सारे बॉक्सेस होते हैं लाइफ में दुनिया में अलग अलग टाइप के अलग अलग कलर के अलग अलग शेप के सो so, उसको हम लोग डिनोट नहीं करेंगे विद प्रॉपर लेटर बिकॉज इट फॉल्स ऑन अदर डिफरेंट कैटेगरी सो ऑल दो थिंग्स जो एक होते हैं दुनिया में एक किस्म के होते हैं दे आर वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर्स दे विल ऑलवेज बी प्रॉपर नाउ उनके जैसा ना कोई है ना कोई होगा आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू नाउ हाउ How uh, Delhi is proper noun? Now Delhi और तो कोई Delhi नहीं है पूरे world में एक ही Delhi है That is a place. Okay, Delhi अगर तीन चार type की भी Delhi suppose if we have five six types of Delhi's. Now what are the specifications of this Delhi? Will not be same of other Delhi. Maybe it is it will be having some other differences. Yes. Now uh, let's say for London. Now we have one London which is the main city in England. We have one London also in Canada. But that London and this London are same. No. One is in UK. One is in Canada. so there are very different although they are having the same name but the characteristics the specifications are different so that's why we will say them that they are proper in nature so they are proper noun <clears throat> so noun sort of five or six types let's discuss one by one now identify whether it's place person thing or animal uh, we will be discussing it in proper and common noun now mahesh and ram and mahesh went to jaipur ram is the name of a person i know i know there are i think 1 lakh rams in india there are 20000 mahesh in india but this mahesh is very very different from that mahesh they are not the same they are not one and the same they are different name is same but everything is different their body height physique color hair nails eyes etc so they are proper in nature so we'll denote them with a proper noun and we'll start mahesh with a capital letter Let's come to Jaipur. Now Jaipur तो एक ही है. I have heard only one Jaipur in my entire life, and that is the capital city of Rajasthan. So yes, we are definitely going to denote it with capital letter, and that's a proper noun. Now, which are uh, what? Which are the underlined words? We can see Ram, Mahesh, Jaipur are underlined words. So what do they denote? They denote proper noun. what are the name of the person in these sentences we have ram and we have mahesh so ram and mahesh are proper noun what is jaipur in the sentence now what is jaipur in the sentence now jaipur means it's a place of a city that is there in rajasthan and it is only one puri duniya mein ek hi hai vishwa mein then it will be proper noun what is book in the sentences okay now is he mentioning that this is a bhagavad gita book this is a quran book this is a bible no 
बुक है बुक तो कोई सी भी हो सकती है वी कैन हैव दिस बुक वी कैन हैव दैट बुक वी कैन हैव अदर बुक्स वी कैन हैव टेन बुक्स सो देर इज नॉट स्पेसिफिक सो दिस इज नॉट प्रॉपर नाउन एंड इफ इट इज नॉट प्रॉपर नाउन इट विल बी फॉलोइंग अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ व्हिच नाउ कॉमन नाउन आई होप थिंग्स आर क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ लेट्स मैच द फॉलोइंग नाउ हियर वी हैव आई हैव एन एक्सरसाइज फॉर यू ओके नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ टू now let's start with this activity now i have prepared this activity for you now let's discuss what are the types of nouns we have already discussed what is proper noun now if you know what is proper noun you must be familiar with common noun also so okay teacher is a person police officer is a person park is a place monkey is animal gift are things friend is a person house is a place zoo is again a place cow comes under the category of animals beach is a place eraser is a thing baby is a person library is a place to visit and read books bottle thing flamingo animal sister person tiger animal india place paris place fine wasn't it easy yes it was easy now let's discuss the other nouns as well so we have already done and completed with proper noun about abstract noun about concrete noun then there are three nouns left that is common material and collective noun now common noun now it is common very common color very common dress matlab bahut easily mil jata hai yes does it ring a bell yes now a common noun is a general ordinary name of a person place animal or thing or an event a list of common noun now it is very general kisi ka bhi naam ho sakta hai place ho sakta hai animal thing or event girl boy sister brother player singer when they come fall in the category of persons then they are denoted as common noun now hospital country town park garden things when they fall under the category of these things now hospital is a thing country is a thing park hai town hai all these are there then it comes under the uh, you know category of things so they are common in nature kitne sare to towns hai india mein kitne sare parks hai we have so many gardens so that is not one garden we are talking about we are talking about so many gardens there is no specific mention of anything so this is in this manner these are common in nature birds lion elephant hen and rabbit now these are kitne type ki birds hai yes now if we are talking about flamingo a uh, name of a bird it will always fall in the category of proper noun because flamingo duniya mein to ek hi type ki bird hai but when we are talking about only birds then they will be coming under the category of common noun because bahut sare birds hai similarly we have so many ships houses bags pen etc yes now using common nouns in a sentence just now we have discussed that what are the features of common noun and now we shall learn how to use them in a proper sentence now common nouns can be both singular and it can also be plural additionally now singular bhi ho sakte hain nouns plural bhi ho sakte hain now book is a singular but books when we add s it becomes plural more than two additionally these nouns are only capitalized when at the beginning of a sentence now when we are putting a full stop i i'll explain you now when we are putting a full stop over here and then if this sentence from here will start then only common nouns will begin with a capital letter now for example are only capitalized full stop uh roads are very dangerous now if i start with a new word so roads are very dangerous now road is starting after a full stop that means there's a new line or a new beginning of sentence so then this road will therein uh then this road will be therein capital letter 
but then it doesn't mean change its noun it will be remain that only its common noun explore a few examples with the sentences of common noun let's now this the man walked down on the road now man road road to bahut sari hai man bhi bahut sare hain common noun his religion was important to him there are plenty of religions in the world fine the bus stop pulled up to the stop again which bus and which stop we are not knowing so common noun we landed at the airport now which airport i don't know but they landed then it's fine she went to her friend's house now which friends which house we are not known to it so is as simple and easy as that yes let's evaluate let's think let's have a reflection on something what is a common noun give few examples of common noun now if i'll be asking you what are what what is common noun you must say you must mention in your answers that common or is a noun that is that is not proper in nature for example books boys girls country states roads these are very common they are not very specific and examples i have already mentioned road religion bus pen paper copies pencils yes bahut sare jo ho sakte hain iski bahut sari variety hoti hai that is common noun now tell me now by looking at these sentences tell me if the noun is a person or a not or it is a place or a thing okay now i met james at the post office now james is the name of a person proper noun so let's write pre over here because it's not a proper noun peter is my classmate peter proper noun because it is the name of a person india is the biggest democracy in the world now india is not a name of a person but it's a name of a place or a country and definitely it is a proper noun she comes from nigeria now nigeria is a state in south africa it's a state in africa so it come it is a it is denoting place i ordered the laptop from amazon now laptop common noun now why why for the reason i chose common noun over here because students this is not proper in nature we are not talking about dell laptop hp laptop or its acer or its asus or its which laptop we are only concerned about a laptop which she has ordered now it's not specified so it is always it will also always be laptop will always fall in the category of common noun proper noun is a name let's rebrush it a proper noun is a name used for an individual person a place organization that is spelled with an initial capital very very easy i hope we have discussed it n number of times such as agra goa paris singapore places which are starting with capital letter are proper nouns now brand such as sony television is a brand lipton tea is a brand aur koi lipton tea dusri nahi hai duniya mein there is only one lipton tea so this will come under the category of proper noun now arun akbar kavita nisha all these are names of persons this akbar may be different from that akbar so this akbar is unique him in himself that akbar is unique in him himself so they will fall under the category of persons now commonwealth games now commonwealth games such as olympic events are also examples of proper noun. now let's move forward and recapitulate till what have we studied today but this is not the end of this class what is a noun a noun is the name of a name place animal and thing define common noun with examples now common noun with examples can be book paper pen copies that are that are too much in there okay define proper noun with examples now how will we define proper noun we will say that proper noun is that noun which is denoted by an initial capital letter hmm now complete the sentence using common noun from the box ayush plays the dash very well he is playing something so it's guitar look out of the back no window yes so it's window let me cut it as well now 
My dash is very heavy. My bag or my country? Bag. There is a dash behind you. Country or rope? Rope. So answer is rope. Which dash would you like to visit? Which country would you like to visit? Yes. So let's proceed further. Now tell me students whether this noun is proper noun or common noun. I have mentioned all capital letters here. Now it's you who is going to think and tell me which is the correct option. New York is the name of a country so it's proper. Television is common. Subject is common. Converse is common. Soap is common. Independence is proper. We have our independence day in India. Beer brand is proper because it is talking about one brand. Now one brand and can't be same to other. Kuch na kuch to differences ho nahi hai. That's, that's making them unique. And as a reason they are getting popularity. Plants, common. Store, common. Book, yet again this is common because you are not specifying. Now, write at least three proper nouns for each common noun in the circle. Now, if uh, there is a circle name as girls, now if girls are proper, a common noun, so how do proper noun? Kaise padega? By mentioning the names. Okay. Ria, Dia, and Gia. Fine? Easy? School. But it's proper noun. Schools ka naam bata ke. Now, Sacred Heart. Uh, I studied from Sacred Heart and this will be uh, GBMS, this will be Loyola High School. Fine. Flowers. Now, if it's coming to flowers, then we can say rose, dandelions, jasmine, milk, soya milk, buttermilk and almond milk. Colors. We can say red color. We can say black color. We can say green color. Fine. I hope you are enjoying this activity worksheet along with me. Now, let's move further. Abstract noun. Now, what is abstract noun we discussed in the starting? And I hope you must be having any idea. So, now more on these abstract nouns. Now, experienced concretely or touched physically. Now, when we are experiencing them by, you know, mehsoos karna. Ideas, emotions, qualities, conditions like hate, love, power and all times are all examples of abstract nouns. All we need is love. Fine. There is so much hate for the new stars wars trilogy. We must use this time wisely. Fine students. Okay. And concrete nouns are nouns that can be perceived by at least one of our five senses. Now eyes, ears, nose, tongue and smell and taste. Isko hum log ne dekh liya, sun liya, mehsoos kar liya, that is concrete noun. Which of the following is an abstract noun, students? Hum khali mehsoos kar sakte hai. Kindness. And tomato is an example of? Tomato ko mehsoos kar sakte hai? Definitely, but can we, uh, can we not see it? No, we can. So this is an option of concrete noun. Now, material noun. Now, this type of noun is the third type of noun, that is material. Now, just in two minutes, we'll see what is material. Now, gold from nature, milk from animal, uh, wood from trees, chalk that is made by man. These are material se bane, dhatu se bane, padarth se bane. Jo cheeze dhatu se banti hai, padarth se banti hai, unko hum material noun hi kehte hai. Wo material noun kehlate hai. For example, cotton breast. Now, cotton breast is made up of which material? Cotton. So, cotton is a material noun. However, cotton is a material noun when used to describe that the crop that is used to make fabric. Now, cotton is a plant, cotton plant, but that cotton becomes actually a fabric which is used to make a dress. We use cotton from local farm in our t-shirts. My wedding ring is made up of platinum, is a type of a metal. Consuming protein leads to building muscle mass. 
now here we are telling that building uh, consuming protein is build leads to building muscle mass fine now uh, i think we should skip this worksheet and we should come to the collective noun now what are collective noun okay the collective noun means a party of friends a litter of kittens a bunch of grapes and a set of cutlery so which are not one in number but which are uh, more than 3 4 5 in number they are known as collective nouns for instance a bunch of grapes in this grapes how many grapes can you see we can see okay uh, we can have 1 2 3 4 4 there are at least 15 20 grapes there are at least more than 5 layers so there are at least 5 6 letters so these are a set of nouns that are collective in nature now uh, collective nouns are nouns that prefer to group of something in particular now if there is uh, for example how can common noun be collective noun if someone will ask you this question so students we must always keep in mind that a collective noun can be described as common noun if you are eating a grape one piece of grape is common noun if you are eating a bunch of grapes together it's a collective noun if we are reading a book it's a it's a you know it's a common noun but then that books books become a uh, you know collective noun when it is plural more than 2 3 4 uh, if you are using a key to open your door that becomes a common noun but that keys when there are four five keys they become a bunch of keys and they immediately convert into collective noun category so look at these now uh, look at that gaggle of geese now goose plural is geese and these ka jo group hota hai that is known as gaggle hmm? there used to be herds of wild buffalo on the prairie now on the prairie bahut sare wild buffalo ka jo group hota hai they are known as herds there is a crowd of kids in, is, is in the pool today now in the pool there is a crowd of the kids the team did a great job in the competition now team jo hai which is which is there with many people they did a main job now it's an activity time now students instructions are like this i will show some words related to abstract and concrete noun and whether abstract noun will come in the following words or not so you have to raise your hand or you have to comment in the chat box kindness abstract noun so we will write here abstract noun now love abstract noun okay um uh, mobile now this mobile is not abstract noun we can see it te teach it feel it so this comes under the category of concrete noun so in this way we can define now let's uh, you know start an activity now you need to tell me by mentioning in the comment box also which category is uh, other these things following under which category bottle no love yes happiness yes shoe no teacher no loyalty yes pen no courage no or yes yes courage is the correct answer and lastly we have peace peace can we see peace we can feel peace within ourselves in the country in the nation so these are the different types of nouns now let's recapitulate what have we studied in today's class so students in today's class we have discussed about types of nouns material noun abstract noun common collective and proper and common noun okay now kinds of noun is abstract concrete material collective along with along with proper and common noun for few examples of nouns and how can we make sentences now you need to tell which uh, you know you can also define one noun from one type of category and how can we make sentences using these nouns fine and homework 
Now, classify the nouns in sentences as concrete or abstract. So, here concrete nouns are the things which we can see here, touch, smell and taste. And abstract nouns are the ideas and concepts. So, you need to paste that picture in the scrapbook. And concrete nouns, mean you have to classify which nouns are falling under the category of concrete noun. We can have concrete nouns only if you are having three things. We can feel it, we can see it, we can touch it physically. Okay. Now, the second homework is in the sentences given below, identify nouns and state what type of noun it is. A dog likes a like sweet a bread. Police have given a grand party to the public. The monitor told the class to keep mum like shh. Hurry likes to read Indian story always. The Ganga flows from the Himalayas. Now, what are the categories of these nouns? You need to tell it. Okay. Now, there's also one homework for you. You have to complete this sheet by you know choosing the correct option. And if you have any problems related to the classification and category of noun, please students feel free to contact, feel free to comment your doubts and queries down in the chat box and I will be more than happy to help. And meanwhile, whatever things you observe in your surroundings, in your room, look and just think in your mind, okay, this is a water bottle, ye si category mein this is a phone, ye si category mein there are so many books, what, in which category will they fall? And this way you yourself will make a concept much more clearer. I hope this video was uh, very informative and knowledgeable so, to you. So kindly keep on studying and please complete the homework. Till then students take care. Goodbye and see you in the next video. Take care and happy fun learning. Bye bye.